we hide behind here and just see what they're talking about, maybe? Maybe they're nice. Maybe they're You're not. both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone! Yeah. But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! Hello? Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. Excuse me? Ooh, I can do a deception. I don't know how good my deception is, though. That ship is full of monsters. I wouldn't go near it. I think that ship's an invasion force. Run while you can. The only thing you own is your life. Leave before I take that too. All right, I'm gonna go with deception. I'm gonna have to do a roll here as well. Yeah, almost in that 20. Well, uh, in that case, oh. come on you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the yeah, cheese. I was gonna say worms no. don't like cheese. Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it. Aha! Oh, coming the new look. I, I am. We had a fight on our hands. Hmm, I think we got this. To level up, use the cross button on your character's portrait. Time to assign some skills. Oh, we get the nice character creation screen again as well, and we can choose evocation or abjuration. Evocation spells focus elemental energy into powerful attacks and enchantments. Those who specialize in this school are known as evokers. So it's it's more like conjuring stuff. Abjuration spells summon wards, banish enemies, and nullify magic suitable for those who wish to defend themselves and others. I'm gonna go evocation, because it sounds like more fun. There's, so there's something underneath here. There's something underneath here. Aha! I see it now. Wisp blind, I see it. If we shoot this down, or I could even do a, a cantrip at it. Ignis! Ignis! Woohoo! I don't know if we want to go in, though. Ooh. I didn't want to go in the hole, but this is fine. Where is everyone? Guys, can you hear me? Oh no. And go down there. Good on you, Gale. To see in the dark, use a light source like a torch or a light casting cantrip. Creatures with dark vision don't need an external light source. Being able to see where others can't will give you advantage in combat. I'm gonna grease it. Yeah. What happens if I use Mage Hand? Because I haven't. Interesting. Can I? Oh, can I move my Mage Hand independently? I can. So if I open the door with Mage Hand, there you go. And they'll all try and come in over the grease, or at least that's the plan. Can I slap someone with my Mage Hand? <laughs> I can slap them with my Mage Hand. Yes. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Where, where are they? Slap them. <laughs> shove, shove, shove. Oh, Mage Hand OP. I just, I'm glad I chose Mage Hand. They're all coming to the doorway now as well. <gasps> Ow, that was, oh no. That got all of us. We need to get out of this doorway, I think. Ah. Well, we're all dead. Um, it was nice knowing you. Really nice. Astarian managed to dodge that somehow. Who knows? I but he is now dead. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. How are you still alive, Gale? Burn, Gale, burn. Yay. A character in your party is dead. We're all dead, game. We're all dead here. It is the end. If Gale single-handedly carries this, I'll be very surprised. Load game! Okay, so we had a quick save just here. Should be fine. Basically, because it took extra effort to reveal this entrance, I thought that that was going to be like the clever way to do it, like the sneaky option to go in, but it seems like they know I'm there. Locked. Thank you, Gibblebock. Everything all right out there? Oh, yes, everything's fine. Everything, everything's good. Ooh, I could try a deception roll again. Do we deceive or do we try a performance? I'm gonna try using the extension again. For performance, I would have to mimic his accent. I would have to be like, 
Yeah, everything's fine. Let me on in. Everything, everything's good. Everything's good. I'm going to try performance because I think that sounds like the most fun and chat seems to agree with me. All right. Oh, it's only a nine. I'm sure this will be fine. It's going to be, it's going to be perfect imitation of a halfling. You sound a bit shaken, boss. Hang on while I find the key. Oh, yeah. I'm more shaken top. Thank you. Do let me in. Thank you. It's terrifying music. Who the hell are you? You're dead. Ah, cast a fireball at you. Ignis, bish. Take that, fool. Finish him off. Yeah. Well done. You know what? I might send him in on his own. I'm going to unchain him from the party and ask him to hide. I'm just going to let him scope out the area. He's also got dark vision. Ooh, there'll be baddies. Can he stealthily open door? That's my question. I don't even know if we were yeah, supposed so to come stale. in here. It feels more like a tomb so than a temple. Save F5, 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 F5. Thank you, chat. What would I do without you? Should I do that stealthily? Uh, can I do a sneak attack? Go on, go on, go on, boy. Go on! How'd you get past Daniel? Shit. Back off! I missed the stealth attack! You guys better get your asses over here. We got some trouble. Come on. Follow me. <laughs> you failed a stealth attack in the middle of nowhere by himself. Like, come on. <sighs> Vampire boy. Why are you like <gasps> this? Glacius! <gasps> Ah, hang on. That's where we could have come in. There were loads of people in this corridor last time. Rigged! This is rigged. That's why we would have fallen in. There were loads of people here last time, but now there's no one here. It's in this room. I don't think anyone's in here. Can we lock the no lock, no handle. How does it open? We found a locked door, but it doesn't have a keyhole, and there's got to be something interesting behind it. It's got to be a, a lever. Oh, this is going to be an arse to get through if we if we try and do it. Because we've got one facing us and one like facing away. We can turn it to turn-based mode as well if we're trying to sneak past something. He Fear was surprised, we got here first. but he did not take any damage. No! <gasps> Come on! I've set up the perfect attack. But alas, it was not the perfect attack. Back up! Whoa. I'm gonna hide behind this bookcase because I'm a real man. Two 91% and 94% misses. He's clumsy boy. He's not sneaky boy, he's clumsy boy. <gasps> no! Ow, the damage! I was the one who did so much damage to us last time. Can I not move? Am I still instead? Mm, I don't like it. Uh, Gale doesn't appear to be taking any damage despite being in the fire. So, Gale, go prove your worth. Go on, go on, do something useful. There we go. Good night. Oh, go, go hit people. Yes, you actually hit something. I'm so proud. 80% chance to hit and it missed. The game hates me, guys. Let's just hit it. Yeah, okay. Job done. Yeah. Get down the stairs, fool. What's wrong with you? Oh! Who got downed? Oh dear. Gale. Do we care? Mm, not really. <laughs> We're so mean to Gale. Can I can I hide on this turn and then and then do a sneak attack? I know with rogues in D&D &D, like you can attempt to hide every turn as well. Oh, that's good damage. Okay, this is fine. Oh shit. Oh, okay, this is fine. Ignis! Yes, Ignis! Take that, fool! And there's just this one archer left over here. I'm gonna dash behind here. I'm hidden though. Okay, it's working. Nice! That was actually good damage. Probably gonna wreck me next turn though, because I've used my movement. I need to smash. Wait, just smash off AoE. No, we're good. <laughs> Go! Yes! Crack that skull! Oh, well, that was, uh, that was something. Um, oh, I found the lever. 
Pull the lever crank. But wait. I'll loot everything and then I'll quick save. You say lever like an American? I, I say lever in reference to pull the lever crank. But it is lever. It is lever. I will, I will stand by till my dying day that it is lever, not lever. Nothing that I can actually pick up that I can see right now. But another door. Where does it lead? There are people here. I know there are because I saw the, uh, the preview gameplay video. Uh, I'm not sure which one I want to... Sure. Stealthily open the door. If that if that's a thing that's possible, stealthily open the door. Oh, is this the room I think it is? <laughs> Quick save. So they showed a room during the gameplay preview where there were traps and you had to go into turn-based mode so that you could like sneak past the traps. And there was like fire coming out and you had to do like timed jumps. Perception fails. So there's something there. That's the thing about having like the D&D mechanics in a game like this. Like you know there's something there because it failed. Whereas in D&D, you ask the DM like, I want to look. And you, you physically like make an effort to look, but... Hmm. This looks like trouble. Oh, perception failed again. I do kind of want to open the sarcophagus. I'm gonna do it. Ooh, the watcher's guide, one day eight piercing. Time has dampened this spear's sheen, but the center glows a faint blue. The magic it exudes feels old, terrible, and divine. The spear was given to its previous owner for his unerring loyalty, even in death. Ooh, and a key. The dead are gonna rise up, aren't they? Oh yeah, here we go. Just some really nice grease. Can I... I don't want to jump in grease because I'm definitely gonna fall over if I dump, jump in grease. Ah! <laughs> This is a bad situation I've gotten myself in. The whole thing with the turn-based movement here is when it's in this mode, I can time when to not get hit by the fireballs as well. So I can be like, stop, and then ask him to move during the turn. I don't think I've been within range. I think we should be okay. Oh, being prone actually saved me there. Feels dangerous, man. Feels dangerous. Yes, I got it. I got it. Okay, okay. I'm coming back. I'm never going to Greece land again. You have my word. Let's say we go for the other door. Maybe that will have better results than the first door. That's all we can hope for. Okay. We also have taken an engraved key from Astarian. Oh, I didn't think anyone still worshipped him. Scribe of the dead. The inscription is in a language unknown to you. Hmm, no one knows the language. I was wondering if she might because she has a bit more knowledge and religion and stuff but she didn't seem to recognize it my character knew though let's send him off on his own go on you scout for us go on boy book of the dead gods nice this book is far lighter than Ooh. it should be with such a massive lock it doesn't seem like it's something i should be attempting to lockpick i think i need to get my uh my wizard in here search for an arcane rune to sabotage i will i will search for a rune oh okay target 10 that should be easy should be easy oh just passed it i'll kind of check success as the lock opens a loose page comes with it magic pulses from the parchment what was once script is now an obliterated scrawl you have a sense these are names a list but of what I will examine it more closely. Ah, oh, it's only a seven. Unless I roll a one. This could be my first one. Come on, yes. Which gods? Entire pantheons have dwindled and been reborn, silently recorded by this book. Oh, her voice. Go to camp and end the day. So, weirdly, I think this will technically take us outside. Yeah, because the, the camp space is outside. Are you, are you okay? Are you looking at yourself? Vain as well as rude. The ultimate combination. Shocking behavior. Be with you in a moment. Be with you in a moment. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Neat trick. Why are you studying your own mirror image? Oh, I know exactly what it is because I'm a wizard, so yeah. Wh what the frick are you doing, friend? Indulging in a spot of vanity. Handsome devil, aren't I? No, not really. Be that as it may. 
Theramorphosis. What does it make you think of? Makes me think you're a twat. First and foremost, that damn tadpole. Until quite recently, nothing at all. You're about to start a lecture. I'm not interested. Well, I think that's what's happening to us right now. Spot on. Hey. Day one, fever and memory loss. Day two, hallucinations and graying skin. We didn't get off to a good start, me and him. Day three, hair loss and blood leaking from all orifices. Can't wait to see you go through Need that go stage, on. friend. Mm. Day four, excruciating pain as the skeleton and organs reform and reposition. Day five, the host personality has disappeared. Fingers and toes and limbs elongate. Nice. I take it you get the picture? Uh, yeah. This camp part is really reminding me of Dragon Age as well. A lot of this is reminding me of Dragon Age um, in, in the way they're handling conversations and relationships and stuff. Which, obviously, like, the camp system in Dragon Age was, in my opinion, one of the best things about the game because you got to really get to know the characters very well. Uh, I mean, I do, but you may as well finish the picture. Day six, the flesh around the mouth splits to make way for tentacles. Yeah. Day seven, a mind flayer is born. Lovely. This is the annotated version, of course. I do not like him at all. Well, when he first met us, he was like, oh, you're obviously not a wizard because you don't know all the wizard things. And I was just sat there like, I'm literally a wizard. Like, that is my class, asshole. Like, back off. I know what you're talking about. So we're not very good friends with him. We do not approve. We do not approve. Just wrap this up, will you? My point is this. Our orifices remain blissfully unblooded, our heads remain clear, and our blood temperature normal. Do you want me to check your orifice? Any expert orifice will agree. You? This is abnormal. Long live the abnormal. I'm just going to be sarky. I'll toast to that. Long live. Pragmatic in me, Cheers, however, Benji. sees only the silence before the storm. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. Hopefully, nowhere near you, kiddo. So. Hello. Not a tentacle to be seen. I could say the same to you. Indeed, you could. We're all doing surprisingly well, given the circumstances. I'm not taking anything for granted, of course. First sign of change, and I'll have to stop that pretty little heart of yours. Suck my blood, will you? I am open to suggestions. Knives, poison, strangulation, Ooh, whatever you'd prefer. Spicy. <laughs> I prefer not to die. A knife? That seems quick. Poison. Sounds painless. Try it and I'll spill your guts. I'm not sure. How would you like to go? I don't think poison is for me. Nor stabbing, come to think of it. I always felt decapitation was a fine choice. No, you One stay alive for a few seconds then... after, friend. Nothing. Stay alive for a while <laughs> after. But we were talking about you. What'll it be? I don't know. Poison, I guess, could be painful as well. You know, I don't see... It can last a long time with poison. I could never go for decapitation. That's just... Oh, that's a bad way to go. I'm gonna put chat choice on. Which way would you rather go, Twitch chat? Decapitation, knife, poison? Mm. Chat thinks decapitation sounds really good. But I've heard that apparently, based on some very grisly studies done, apparently the head was, you know, seen to twitch for up to a minute after you killed them or something. So there's, there's some kind of consciousness going on after death, but we can't prove it with decapitation. I don't know, like, the feeling of a knife, like, slitting your throat has got to be pretty bad as well. If, if I had to choose, I'd want the knife, I think. Yeah. <laughs> a classic. One could <laughs> thrust to the heart and you're gone. Why, thank you. We need a good blade, of course. Don't want to waste time hacking and prodding with a dinner knife. Uh, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is all a worst-case scenario. He seems far too obviously. keen to do this. Oh, and you? How should I kill you? <laughs> oh, my dear. I'd like to see you try. Ooh. Now, let's get some rest. The sooner we start tomorrow, the better our chances of keeping mm. this hypothetical. I couldn't help but over here... Well, all right, I could have helped but didn't. Anyway, I feel the same. Other than the occasional mental exchange, it's almost as if we're not infected. Almost. The voice on the ship told me I'd become a beautiful weapon. What do you think it meant? It wants to use you, I guess. I think it's got plans. Whatever they were, it's those waiting. plans were interrupted by the Using dragon. Us. Either way, we can't take the lack of symptoms for granted. We have to find a healer. 
Well, I've said my piece. Get some the rest. Character always looks very concerned. Go ahead. I'm listening. Hello. Tell me uh, a bit more about yourself. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, the city of splendors. I'm a wizard of considerable and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. Oh, I see. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. He has a then. cat. He can't be that bad if he has a cat. Cat people are never that bad. If he cares for a little creature, there can't be much wrong with him. You're trying to brush me off. Don't you have anything other than generalities to offer? Certainly. That I have a great respect for privacy, for instance, especially my own. <laughs> he's he's got to be mixed up in something. Ooh, I can use my wisdom to try peering into his mind. If he won't open up, we'll sneak in. Sure, he's not going to like this, but let's do it. Ooh, that's a high roll. Ah, yeah. We're sneaking into his brain. For a split second, you see a swirl of untamed magic. Then his defenses drop like a portcullis. Out! That was uncalled for. Sorry. I mean, I'm not sorry, but still. I think he acts like this because he's got some kind of dark traumatic past and he's trying to cover it up with being so confident and self-assured all the time. I saw something in your mind, a strange magic. What was it? What was it? Nothing. What you saw was merely mental disorientation brought about by your intrusion. Mm, Please don't think. try that again unless I invite you to. <laughs> he says with a smile but a threat behind his pearly white teeth. I need you to remain in the camp for a while. Uh, it's okay, you can come with me still. I'll allow it. I guess all that remains is to rest. I would like to go to bed. In the middle of a crypt. What are you doing? He's probably off to uh, get some blood to suck, no doubt. Boom. Here come the baddies. All right. Let's do this. It's gonna use me a spell slot, but if they try and come up here, they gonna get greased. Krypton Slide, the latest attraction. Best theme park on the Sword Coast. Do a do a smash. Smash! Yes, only six health left. Someone else finish it off. Yes! Okay, the plan is coming together. There was no plan to begin with, but we're just gonna pretend there was. Ah, the color spray, my eyes, the colors! <laughs> They burn! Oh, shoes, I'm down already. Can we do a jump up there? Butcha! Yes. Super nimble. Get him. Oh! He slaps back hard, though. Finished him off. Getting wrecked by the acid. Ooh! Not. Was that a crit, or is that just how much damage guiding bolt? 46 radiant. Holy shit. Okay, that was worth a spell slot. Rising from the dead just to protect some dusty baubles. Fools. <laughs> Can agree more. Besides, what do the dead have use of possessions for? I agree. Their trinkets may be worth a few coins all the same. Stupid dead people, huh? Let's go and desecrate the tomb. Speaking of, we should probably go inside and see what all that effort was for. A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. Think so? Before I touch the dead. Who's in there? Hello, friend. Friend, please be a friend. Please be friendly. So he has spoken. And so thou standest before me. Right, as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. Thank you for... What is the months. worth of a single mortal's life? 499 plus VAT. 
quite the question. What's the reason for it? Curiosity. Nothing more. He's a nice dead boy. Wilt thou answer my question? Thou talkst in a very old-fashioned way. Uh, ask away. So, I ask again. What is the worth of a single mortal life? Four ninety-nine. There's no option for that. The only life that matters is mine. Spot, spot the evil options here. Depends on the mortal. Some mortals live much longer than others. I can't compare them. I'd say it depends on the mortal. I am curious by what standards thou shalt judge. Very well. I am satisfied. Yeah. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. Farewell. I hope we meet again. He walked straight through the acid and just sashaying away over there. What's his name? Hooded Skeleton. Ooh, Amulet of Lost Voices. This looks haunted. The dead hold no secrets from Jagal, Scriveners of Doom. Speak with the dead. Ooh, if I put that on, we'll be able to see some things in here because this is a crypt. I'm going to put it on. I want a quick save before I put that haunted ass amulet on. Where are you, dead people? Come and talk to me. You again. We have nothing more to discuss. Continue on thy way, as if I were not here. I must I attend this place. After so many years away, we will see each other again soon. I hope so. Soon is rather vague. When exactly? When the time is proper, I do not know that hour any more than dost thou. But I do know that the longer thou standest here, the further away our second meeting becomes. I think that was a casual sass, like the longer you stand around here, the longer you're gonna be waiting less. We found the way out, so I'm gonna go with the way out. Why are you bleeding? Why are you bleeding? Oh my god! Gale has his period. I thought he was acting moody. Don't know why everyone just started bleeding as soon as we got up here.